Good morning. Thank you for taking a moment with me. Today we're looking at Psalm 94. Psalm 94 says in verse 18, When I thought my foot is slipping, your steadfast love, O Lord, held me up. When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. I was just thinking about those consolations and I read a kind of a, a more fun translation of this. It said, in the midst of all of my troubles, you roll me over with delight. Rollicking delight, it actually said. You roll me over with rollicking delight. And when I heard that, you roll me over, I could not help but think about our dog, Polly. Polly is a retired guide dog and you know, she was a pretty good guide dog, but she has been a phenomenal pet uh, as she retired and also a therapy dog. And when she goes to people who are distressed, uh, people who are just feeling maybe like their life is falling apart, I'm always amazed at the way that she just comes up to the people, puts her nose on them, and then immediately does a belly flop <laughs> on the ground and just kind of turns over. And... And, and just says, you know, here's my belly, rub me up. And she, and as if the whole world just wants to pet her all the time. And and people's faces, the way that people's faces change when she does that. And I, I just think about that, that that feeling that people have in seeing her do that and, and that sense of being turned over, right? Our whole lives, when we have troubles, when we feel overwhelmed, when we think about the day that's ahead of us, I'm thinking about the day right now, and it feels like, oh, I've got all this stuff stacked up. And I've got a kiddo upstairs who's getting ready to go online and doing this distance learning thing, and, and it can feel so you know, overwhelming. And then I see this dog and just reminds me of God's grace that it's, God comes up to us and, and encourages us and turns over and turns us over with rollicking delight and changes our troubles. And I think sometimes even some of our troubles that we think are troubles are actually just moments of grace in disguise. So I just would invite you to, to think on and pray on Psalm 94 as you begin your day.